everybody, here is the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create if you follow this Swift 3D and Flash tutorial. Let's render out and show you what we have. True 3D object animations using Swift 3D and Flash. And you can see there's a nice little timeline there that you could put stop actions in or whatever you need to do. If you want that animation to fire off only at a certain time, you put a stop action on frame 1 and then a stop action on frame 40. You make it fire off by going to frame go to and play frame 2 and then make it stop at frame 40 or whatever. Any kind of animations. This is a really simple one I know but uh, you can use any type. Let's make sure we have a good frame rate on that. Let's, see, let's put it up to I didn't know 24 and control enter. There we go. That's pretty cool true 3D. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is create my little piece of wood. I'm going to go into the lathe editor and I'm going to start right about here. I'm just going to click down here, then I'm going to go right about, I don't know, somewhere over here. I'm going to click down, then I'm going to click down here, and then I'm also going to click down here, make a little rectangle, and then close it up. Now I'm going to go into the scene editor. And now you can see what I have if we go into the top view here. Look at it from the top. We have a nice little circular object with a hole right in the center. So you can see if we go back into the lathe editor, there's our object there. And the hole was created by having this space here set off from that green line. If I had these points onto the green line there, directly on that green line, you would see no hole in the center. So that's how I achieved the hole in the center there. All right, now we're going to take from the models library. Well, actually, let's put a material on this first. Let's put the texture of whatever this is. Let's put a wood texture on it, maybe. that's fine now I'm going to go into let's put the radial segments up to 64 okay now I'm going to go into the models library and grab out the screw and I'm going to put it into the the view pane the front active view pane there then Swift 3D asked me would you like to scale the model to fit the contents of the scene yes okay so there's my screw and you can see it's already sunk down into the middle of the uh, the piece of wood and you can hold alt in the view pane here and use your mouse your right mouse button to zoom in and out if you need to okay I just made the piece of wood a little bit larger by going to the scale properties of that object I highlight it you go to scale and I just messed with the numbers here a little bit to make it a little bit larger than it was originally. Now I'm going to highlight this screw and I'm going to click animate. And this is how you can animate any object. What I'm going to do is drag the playhead out to frame 10. So on keyframe 10, well on frame 10 when I move this thing, a keyframe will be made from the starting position, how it is now on frame 1, to frame 10 it will animate to the ending position that I designate now so what I'm gonna do is go to rotation and I'm gonna make it spin clockwise in the direction that a screw would spin if it's going into something you can see it spinning there and you can see the keyframes were made up in the animations panel there on the timeline so now let's move the let's drag the playhead and see what that gave us a nice spinning animation on that that's good so now let's go out to frame 20 with that playhead. It's going to make a new keyframe when we spin some more. So let's press down on the Y rotation again, make it go clockwise some more. A little bit more. And so you just mess with your numbers to where it seems like it's 
doing what you want it to do. That's about right. I'm going to continue that. I'm going to do it about four times. I'm going to go all the way out to frame 40. And that's going to be a lot of frames, but that's okay. We want it to look good. Okay, so I went all the way out to frame 40, animating it using that technique to spin it around clockwise. Now in frame 40, where the playhead is, we're going to animate its position. So we can go and select it, and go to position, the position properties, and I think it's the Y coordinate again there, and push it down all the way into place right about there so now you can see what we've done if we drag the playhead and there's your screw animation we can take this and render it out and see what it looks like let's put some material on the let's put reflective like a silver on that screw okay now let's render it out go to preview and export raster generate all frames and now as we play after all the frames come in and are rendered you can press play and see what you have that's pretty freaking cool and now you can uh, also bring this into flash you can just export it straight to flash as an SWF or just render it out to your desktop as an SWF and once you're in flash just import it using the flash menu and what it will do is bring all these frames in but I'm gonna change the look on it a little bit the the way that we're viewing it and it looks like let's go back to animate I'm gonna go back to frame 40 and bring this screw up just a little bit position right about there that works for me I don't want it to go in all the way flat because then I didn't put a big enough of a circle in the middle let's see uh, that looks good that's a good animation right there I'm gonna twist everything now we can toggle the animation mode off select anywhere in this view pane here and press control A and that will highlight everything And you can actually group these items now arrange group and now you can just go down here to your little ball and move it anywhere you want it to be I'm gonna go right about there and I'm gonna adjust my view pane a little to get it right in the view I'm holding alt and clicking down with my left mouse button to drag the scene around you see that or you can use the other mouse button and go in and out alright so now let's look at this timeline here cool that's exactly what I want. All right, now I'm going to go to preview and export. We're going to do the same thing: raster, generate all frames. Okay, now you press play, and you'll see what the final rendering will look like. <coughs> Looks like the screw is automatically on its own going down into place or you could put a big screwdriver driving it down into place with it there's a lot of different things you can do with Swift 3D and then you can export it for flash you see right here target file type all different types look at that isn't that beautiful FLV whatever you want AVI flash player SWF I'm gonna choose bitmap compression mess with the quality and you can also change the anti-lias quality now you go to export all frames and let's put that on the desktop let's call it uh, my screw and then save it and there you go now let's go ahead and take a look at that I got so much crap on my desktop. Uh, where is it? My screw. Let's open it up in the Flash Player. You see there? That can be brought right into Flash. And depending on the background you set, it uh, it doesn't really bring the background into play. 
and you can set anything you need to. Once in flash, you can put glow on it, inner glow, outer glow, uh, whatever you want to do. So we'll do some more Swift 3D tutorials. If you guys are looking to see how to animate things and make cool stuff in 3D, just let me know and I'll do it up. Okay, now I'm in my Flash. I'm going to open up Flash Action Script 3 project and I'm going to go to File, Import, to Library, and it's going to give me the Browse dialog for my computer system. And I'm going to go to my screw. My screw.swf file is going to be imported into my library. And then drag this up a bit. I'm going to change the background to black. And I'm going to go into my library here. And you can see all the bitmaps that make up that animation. All the different little bitmaps. But what you do is you grab the movie clip. It's usually at the bottom there. Bring it in. And now <coughs> I can even give it a filter. Let's go to a bit of glow. Let's make it glow bright white or something. Very strong. Very blurred. Nice high quality. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Not too strong. That should be good. Alright, now let's press uh, Control Enter and see what it gives you. See it? That's in Flash now. And you can put that on your web page. Or you can give it an inner glow of black. Whatever you want to do to make it look the way you need it to. And so that's in Flash now. And you can put that on your web pages so you can achieve some really cool animations in full 3D, in real 3D, using Swift 3D and importing into flash man <coughs> so let me know you want to see more i go i go a little deeper i can make a show i can show you how to make page transitions and everything uh really cool robotic 3d page transitions using swift 3d if you want to see it, i don't know you guys gotta let me know